Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So the backyard hooligans are looking for a way out of this valley now. They realize that with the Red Reapers in the valley, there's no way they can continue their excavations. They've begun to move west into the Salt Flats area of the valley, abandoning their old base, which has been detected by the enemy. They found an old abandoned complex along the way and have decided to set up shop here. But soon after, the Red Reapers found them. Alright guys, so here we are. Two and a half skull base defense mission. Uh, we're kind of a weird starting location. The enemy's like right on top of us already. So these are our uh, two um, vehicles that need to get out into here. So this is going to be interesting. I mean, we should be able to easily handle these guys. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So yeah. we've got uh, Tricky back in the Phoenix. So our Phoenix has got a large laser. Um, SRM-6, LRM-5, and a pair of bolt-on rockets. Um, what do you need? We're still running the same things. Uh, we've got an ER medium laser magna on the Stinger right now. Um, standard loadout on the Swordsman, and the same thing on the um, on the uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, we've also picked up a Galleon along the way, so we have an extra vehicle to help us defend. Um, this is a rocket galleon, so it's all it's got is rockets and a couple machine guns. So this is going to be one of those one-punch vehicles that we're going to save for those moments that we need it. Hopefully it'll be a clutch vehicle, so I'm not going to put it in harm's way at any po point in time yep. until we really need to uh, to use the thing. So let's go ahead and get right on these guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Um, the one thing I haven't been doing a lot of is jumping. Um, so this playthrough with these guys, I want to do a lot more jumping. Now it's like see the thing is is that it gives you more maneuverability, but not that much more evasion. So we got four chevrons if we move here, and if I sprint, you know I can move a little farther. I only get three chevrons, so it's yeah it's a it's marginally better to jump, but we do lose stability when we do this, so we have to be very careful. So let's get into here, Acknowledge. get as much evasion as we can. We'll be jumping back up to the top there afterwards to get in the trees. So we got a trebuchet, which is the threat I think, the flea. Uh, there's also a uh, locust here somewhere that ran off right at the very beginning here. So we're not going to be able to hit that well, but I'm going to fire anyway. Put this trebuchet under a little bit of a um, little bit of pressure to start. Hopefully, it won't shoot for the buildings. So we got seven remaining. Five must survive, which means they can kill two buildings, and that's it. Okay, nice. At least we got a shot on them. Now, how tough are these buildings? 372 for the medium. Small has got 144, so it's not too bad. Medium, 242. 242, so okay. It's going to be interesting to see if they can take these down. At one and a half skull, they probably don't have enough firepower if they, unless they shoot at the building. Although if they pick up a few more tre trebuchets... Um, what do you need? Okay. If they get a couple more trebuchets, then we could uh, be in trouble. This is weird, I don't actually... It's a good... I don't have jump jets. Well, that's bad. How do I not have ability to move there? Where am I stuck? Like, right on the edge of a rock. I didn't see that. Oh, well. Um, it looks like we're not going anywhere. That is so sucky. Okay. Well, hopefully it doesn't screw things up too much. Let's just open up on this guy. This guy is the threat, so... Streak MRMs, beautiful. Alright, a couple of hits. It's not bad. Ready for orders. Okay, you're the clincher guy, hopefully. So let's get back over Understood. here. Moving fast. We're gonna use you in an opportune moment for a back strike. Doesn't have a lot of armor. I think it's like around 100 in the front or something like that. 110, 60 on the sides and back, 104 in the turret. So, not a lot of armor, so we got to be very careful with it. Okay, fire starter's moving. So now we can at least target the fire starter. Oh, okay. I guess he's going to I guess he's going to be trying for the building. So let's ignore him. Um, large laser SRM at LRM5. So we do have a range restriction with the LRM. Wow. 
still garbage no matter what we do here. Um, yeah, I mean, I still only turn one, right? So that's our turret. Let's just go here. Take a pot shot on this guy. We got lots of acid. We got lots of ammo. He's fired all. Okay, at least the large laser hit. That's nice. It's a good start. It's a good start. All right, this guy's going. Hopefully, he doesn't shoot me in the back. All right. Well, that's great. It's going to put a serious damper on my plans. Okay. Uh, that's not too bad. We'll take that chance to hit. Just move over here. Just shoot this guy. Hopefully we hit. Ah. Ah, well, tit for tat. We gave him a headshot. Nice. A little slow there, buddy. At least your friend will be going out soon. What's up, boss? All right, we need to shoot at range with this guy. So there's a nice solo line. We'll take that one. Um, I want to burn through the flak first. Wow, I'm not even gonna take that shot. We got limited ammo, so it's like, well, we got 15 turns of firing. It's not bad. It's only 10 turns of defense, so we might as well go for it. Taking the shot. Yeah, I keep forgetting these base defense That's missions are only 10 turns, so... As long as you got 10 turns of ammo, far away. Even if it is .9, who cares? Unless he's gonna put you over in heat. Alright, now who's left? Where did the, uh... So there's a, like a, a locust move right here at the very beginning. There he is, there. That's the flea over there. Okay, so they're not pushing as much as I thought they would. Alright, it's next turn already, so that's why. Um, uh, I think we gotta push the... Um, the trebuchet. Although the fire starter can do a lot of damage to the buildings with flamers. It's got a large laser and probably... F what? Probably large, medium, and four flamers, my guess? Um, sure. Problem with having these old mechs and stuff too is that like we got lousy targeting systems, they got lousy everything. Okay, we're gonna go keep the acid on. And um, I think 28% is too low with the rockets and if, if we could get close to a kill I would say sure, but... Okay, large laser hit again, nice. Nice. What's up, boss? Just keep it there, buddy. Just for now, your reserves. It's not much of a galleon, but at least it's something, you know? If we can pull out and get a good shot on somebody, we might be able to rip through armor on them. If we, if we can get a good back shot on somebody. Ooh, please doing a flanking maneuver. I'm trying to start in the buildings, but not getting much. Not getting much. Yep. Alright, I think, yeah, see, I. It's a full block of stability damage every time you jump. I don't like that because if you get if you get gang banged by a bunch of guys, they're gonna easily um, let's get to here. They're gonna easily knock you down, you know. All right, let's get on this guy. Wow. All right. Sure. It is nighttime too, right? So we're gonna lose some some visibility. Gonna lose some visibility because it is dark. And yeah, I know it's a tundra biome, but I'm, I'm saying it's salt flats. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I couldn't. I've been waiting for. Like I had to play a couple of uh, side missions to be able to get. Um, wow, well, that's a fair bit of damage. He's got two large lasers. Standing by. Question is, I don't know if she can see that guy. 
Uh, it's going to put that dangerously close to my own guy. I don't want to walk in the heat here. 17 with the AC. Oops, here? That's way better. Let's get into there. Also, we got less chance of hitting our own guy here. We're kind of a half decent distance away this time. Alright, so that's not bad at all. Beautiful. No head hit. Beautiful. <laughs> I love that laugh. Beautiful. There's my turrets. Let's hopefully hope hope for something good. That's an Omni mech. Calliope with a couple of LRM-10 Deltas. Medium pulse laser. Tag barrage lasers are AMS. Let's hope he doesn't barrage us. Because we know it's always a possibility. Large laser, a couple of mediums. That's actually a pretty good turret. An unknown pair of medium lasers. One medium laser. I'm here. You know, I took the jump jets off this thing too. I like I just took them off. So I can't see the treb. We can turn here. Uh, yeah, let's try for a kill shot in this guy. Now this is 61 percent, 73 with the LRMs. So let's go with the LRMs. Roger. Ah, I missed with the PPC. It looked like. Scored a critical hit. Good damage though. We'll take it. Um, okay. That was a really bad place to be placed there at the very beginning here. Like right here. Like that's such a, such a BS thing. It should automatically divert you to an available tile that, that's non, like, that you can move on. Alright, two hits. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. Ooh, we'll take that. Nice damage. Looks like you blew through the armor. Nice. Got past the armor. Let's see what that trebuchet does. Then we got our turrets. Oh, he's running. He's got his back to us, too. He's like offering himself up. So we're going to leave the Thunderbolt on that treb, and we're going to move the other two guys, the Swordsman and the Phoenix, up to go after this um, fire starter. Okay. See what we got going on here. Yep. All right, Tricky, let's get up here. I know it's tempting to go after that. Uh, oh shit, you can't. Oh yes, you can. It's tempting to go after the trebuchet, but we need to go after uh, what the mech's gonna do a lot of damage. Flamers do a heck of a lot of damage to buildings, so we got to get on this guy as soon as possible. Confirmed. Okay, three acid on him. Oh, we got an incoming barrage here too. Isn't that lovely? I just realized that. Shooting at the Phoenix, but got both of us. Nice job. Nice job! Holding firm. Commander. Keep it there. Yeah, I don't have no idea what the next two lances are gonna be. We're gonna get at least two more. I was hoping you wouldn't shoot here. Well, at least he moved into the barrage. Yeah. You can move out of the barrage. Can we get a good clear shot in his back? We can from inside the barrage. We go after the other guy, though. the chance to hit from here. I have no idea. Okay, let's do this. Got it. No shooting, just running. Had a little bit of extra firepower. Not much, but a little bit. Wow, twelve percent, eh? Take this, dirt bag. Yeah. If you hit, I'm gonna be so surprised. Targeting systems janky. Yeah, we need targeting computers and like optical um 
improved optics or advanced optics and stuff for these guys. Like being able to, to nullify night and things like that. Um, and also like um, sight, uh, like loss of sight will be huge for us. Nice. Keep shooting that fire starter. Aye, aye. It's probably better to go after this guy. Wow, really? What is it I'm missing with this? Medium range. Target move, plus eight. No sense. Yeah, sensors. It's really the sensors that's killing me. Yeah. Um, what about this guy? A lot better on this guy. Although, because our guy's that close, we're going to turn the PPC off. Switch this to, uh, to um... MRMs. Wait, was it better with LRM? No. MRMs are better. Perfect. Uh, and let's hope we don't splash. Copy that. Okay. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. It's so unfortunate, though, getting caught like that. Yeah, you keep running, buddy. You keep running. You will most definitely re-engage very shortly. Location confirmed. Okay, let's see who we got a better shot against here. 56. That's pretty good. 50. I think we keep the pressure up on this guy. Let's leave this off because it's, well, fuck it, we'll leave it on. It's only a couple points damage if we shoot our own guy in the back. Firing. Oh yeah, I got through the armor. Where did we hit him though? That's the question. That's the question. CT. Ooh, he's almost done. Waiting for orders. I was going to have you go against the uh, trebuchet, but... Just too close to this other guy. Wait, what? How does that work? Alright, well. Understood. I know I'm turning my back to the enemy, but it's a vehicle and it's got a fair bit of armor, so I'm not that worried about it. We are going to try and get a, get a uh, shot of opportunity. It's got acid on it, so if we get one CT hit, it's all over. Firing. Nope. We did get a hit, though. Ooh, that's the flea going down. Maybe not. Nope. It's going down. Did he get the leg? Must have got the leg. I didn't see where it hit. I thought it was a torso hit. Of course you are. Okay, they're landing over here, which is a good thing. Oh, and over there. Ripper... Hunchback? Oh great, Hunchback. Isn't that just wonderful? You're coming to mean business here. Copperhead. Uh-huh. It's gonna be interesting, guys. Gonna be interesting. So, depending on what that Hunchback is, that's our Galleon's target, I think. We get a good back shot in that Hunchback. Like, Hunchbacks are notorious for not having good back armor. Depending on the back, of course. Like... Most of the early versions don't have, like, I got, like, 20 points in the torsos. So if we can get behind it with rockets, we could probably strip all the back armor off it. And maybe get lucky and, and, uh, get a, uh, ammo hit. So that's a panther, it looks like. Looks like a panther. Periphery pike frig. I hope those aren't rotaries. Okay, so we got to try and kill the flea and the fire starter here first. Second target of opportunity is hopefully killing the locust. I want to get the AC2 carrier on the flyers because we got um, flak ammo. 
Okay, wait, forget about the locust. He's he's oh, yeah. gone away. He has gone away now. Um, what do we do? Uh, I don't want to leave the fire starter for the thunderbolt because the thunderbolt's got heavy firepower. I want to be able to use that on longer range targets. So let's go after. Ah, that's a terrible chance to hit. We've got inferno ammo, don't we? Is that all we got is acid? It is. Damn it. Point nine. Yeah, we don't have sensors on these guys. Yeah, it really is this guy. Alright, let's hope we get something out of this. Three hits, but not in the spot we want. I think he was... Oh, he's shooting for the sleep near. Shooting for the sleepy near. Standing by. Uh... Trees here, please. No shooting, just running. Gotta be careful of where we go here. We don't want them targeting him. Okay. Uh... Yep. Trout. Walk it back to here. Get our stability back so we can start doing some shiz. How do I shoot the rockets and hope for a kill? Attacking from position. Crap. I missed. We still got two. We still got two mediums. Medium lasers here on the swordsman. Ooh, nice shooting, man. I don't have to touch that flea then. I think the turrets will probably finish him off. Cattle Master. Standing by. Alright, let's see what our chance to hit is around the board here. So, fire starter. We'll probably get a kill on the fire starter if we do go after it. Gonna switch this to LRM. Just to see what it is elsewhere here. So 21 on this guy. Yeah, he's heavily hit. Like, uh, that could probably be a kill shot too if we got lucky. Really good on the trebuchet though. That, we might have to go after this guy. There's the Ripper. Bomb Rack Inferno. There's the other Ripper. Light PPC plus Capacitor. Panther. Cattle Master's a good shot too. Pike. No, I think it's gonna be this guy. As much as I want to shoot that uh, fire starter, I think we leave it for the swordsman. Let's go after this guy. Okay, we landed the PPC and he's gone. Beautiful. Nice. Tango down. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, Commander. Try and get a front shot on this guy. We have a better chance to hit the CT, I think, that way. And everything on him. Wow, it's terrible. Doesn't matter. We're shooting at all. Copy that. Fuck. All right. Failed to connect. You did. You did. Maybe our turrets can do something. Maybe. Or the prowler. Nope. You're going to go after the flea with your handful of LRMs, are you? Right. Bail out. There you go. I think he was out of weapons anyway. What was that? Pike? Yeah, it was the pike, I think. Yes, Commander. Alright, architect. Let's be the architect of these copter's demise. Let's use you in your primary role. Uh Black, we got what? 28%, 37%. This is the one with the PPC. Let's go after this guy. 
All right, we'll take the one hit. Because, I mean, that's all we're going to be given. No. Don't shoot him. Well, I guess you have to. I guess you can't hit anybody else. All right. That's going to help a bit. A little bit, I think. Firestarter, who's going for uh, the... Phoenix goes first before the Firestarter. I want to turn the Phoenix into a melee mech. That's what I'm hoping on. I was able to replace the um, the armor and the the uh, primitive core on the, on the Phoenix uh, right after it got re back into battle and repaired. And I was able to up the engine slightly, so it's got a little bit more speed. I think it went from like a I think it went from like a two twenty five to a two forty or two fifty or something. It wasn't much of an increase, but a little bit anyway. Oof. Was that the uh, who shot? Oh, that was the, um, okay, that was the Inferno Bomb from the Ripper. Oh, maybe for a second there was a Hunchback. So it's a 5N Hunchback with no Ballistic. That's a bonus for us. It means it's got no teeth. Three medium lasers, I think. I think it was an AC-10, or it might be two mediums and a small. The 5, I think the 5N was the AC, yeah. AC version. AC-10 version, that is. <sighs> Alright, if you don't get this, we have to use the, uh... We've got to... We're all grouped up here. We've got to go ahead and use the Thunderbolt on this guy. We're going to go after him. Um, I'm going to fire all the rockets. I know the tandems aren't optimum for this, but... I'm going to do it anyway. Couple hits in the CT, but not much. Short range. Oh, he bailed. Perfect. That works for me. That's great salvage. We get, be able to get rid of this stinger, hopefully, if... Uh, I don't know how many pieces we'll be able to get. I think we get... I think our salvage is 6-something, six 627 or something like that, or 621 or something like that. Ready for orders. So we need five pieces for these guys to put a mech together, so I'm hoping that that uh, pans out. So this is the Ripper came from all the way over here? No, that's the other Ripper. Uh, so who's the threat now? Panther, probably? Got the large and the SRM-6. It's got... Ah, these... Mechs are such a mixed bag of weapons that it's like, it's hard to get to an optimal range to use everything. And I know you're not, like the older Battletech, you're not really supposed to use everything. You're supposed to use the long range, and then when you get close, use the close range, which is why they, a lot of them were so heat inefficient. But I want to be able to Alpha Strike all the time, and I know it's not possible, but Lifting if off. you can, it's a good way to always run. Maximize your damage. What do we got on this guy? Nothing. It's lack of sensors. Battlemaster. He's got the Inferno bomb rack. Alright, let's just fire this. Hopefully we get a couple hits on him, maybe. Fire. Oh, the large laser hit, and one of the, uh... Looked like the LRM hit. One of the LRMs. I'll take it. Uh, is, does he actually have any weapons? He's got two energy left. Probably smalls. Yep, that's the... He's gonna shoot for the Thunderbolt the whole time, I think. May have to have a PPC duel. Aye, aye. This guy's got the PPC too, right? Yeah, I think I want to go after this guy. Let's hit him hard. Nice. Move her down. So we got super fortunate here. The guys we're fighting against have got a lot of their important weapons not functioning. Good to go. And, um, the place where we're stuck is not a, uh, a game-breaking place. You know what I mean? Like, at least we're in, the, we're in, like, the thick of the fight. Yeah, we can't move, we don't get any evasion, but we're in the thick of the fight. Maybe I should throw a jump jet back on that thing. Gotta start finding some light engines and stuff, too, though. 
All right. What's up, boss? Start spreading out, guys. Got a defensive wall right here. I think it's just going to be a matter of time for those guys before they're all down. Taking a shot. All right, medium laser hit. Not bad. Structure exposed. Hopefully one of the turrets can finish it up. Or the prowler, maybe? Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Commander. Um, 30%. I think we've got a minimum range with this too, though. I wish it had a turret. Still 30. Yeah, these guys are like way outside sensor range. Let's just move it. Location confirmed. Just target the ad down to 28 now. Let's just target this guy. Yeah, nothing. I wasn't expecting much. That's all right. We'll get it next time. Nice. Nice. Yeah, he ejected. Good salvage out of that. The copperhead. All right. We got to work on our initiative too. 18 and 17 is not too too bad, but I want to try and push it over 20 if I can. Like within the next little while. Getting tactics up is important, but I think I'm going to be going like I've been for most of my my my. Uh, or some of the other play playthroughs I've been mostly doing um, Reporting light damage. gunnery and tactics. But I think for this one, I'm probably going to be going mobility and tactics. Or sorry, more mobility and gunnery. Yes, Commander. All right, we can't get behind you. You know I'm coming, too. That's the thing. He sees me coming. Oh, no. Here. He sees me coming, and he's backing out because he's like, I can't, I can't let that guy get behind me. You're right, you can't. Standing by. Alright, that's tricky. Can I start moving you forward? On my way. We got sight on this guy now, so at least we can shoot him with a half decent chance to hit. Affirmative. Alright. Take the one SRM, that's fine. What do you need? Not like we have a choice, but there we go. Nice little solid uh, solid line. Because if I can get, like, bonus maximum evasion to these guys, and some Negative half-decent damage. jump jets on them, I might, I, I can maybe push getting five chevrons of evasion, you know, for some of the lighter mechs, maybe even more, with a jump. So that, that'll work out well, I think. Who was shooting that? Oh, that was the, uh, this guy? No, the copperhead. That could be a problem. Problem for my galleon. Is, this an, is that an AC-10? Or our periphery rifle or something. Oof. Good five degrees off, buddy. I'm here. That's a long way. Let's finish this guy up if we... Well, let's just see what we got. So that could be a killing blow on him. The Bessie... Yeah, my cousin Bessie. Uh, that's actually not a bad chance on this guy. 42 in the Panther. So, let's take the best chance to hit on the Bessie. PPC should do a good chunk of damage to the thing. That's me. Ah, uh, this fire. Firing. Miss with the PPC, really. Yeah, keep moving forward, buddy. All right, we're in strike range now, I think, with those with the galleon. The only question is, Ready for orders. is do we got the juice? If we don't got the juice, we're in trouble. All right, let's just go over here. On my way. What I mean is just enough firepower to be able to uh, do enough damage to take it down. Let's see how you like this. 
All right, one hit. Nice. <laughs> it's so bad when you're like, yay, one hit. <laughs> one hit. Do you uh, feel like responding to that guy? Waiting for orders. You feel like uh, responding? On my way. Should I, or should I go after the, uh... Might be better to go after the Locust. Oh, that's actually a pretty good chance to hit. Eh. Eh. Let's take the best chance to hit with the ammo we have. Affirmative. Ah, one. We'll take it. How much we can do about it. Yeah, we really did. I mean, it was only one and a half skull mission, but we really did luck out on the, uh... Yep, he's got rotaries. Systems. Hold. We gotta target him next, then. Is that a tag? Did he hit him with a tag? Hopefully he hit him with a tag. Come on, bail out, buddy. Nope. All right, well. Yep. Get over here. Get that fat evasion firing. Take this. Yes. No, he's hit. Finally. This <laughs> is. Oh man, the stinger. It's so crazy, like. I don't know. In a, from a game perspective, like you'd like to be able to trick these guys out with like a lot of like like cool electronics and stuff. But it's it's not like Mech Warrior Online where if you've got a light mech, you're dangerous as hell. In this game, maybe, like you're not taking down an assault mech. There's just no way. Reporting minimal damage. But the Mech Warrior Online game, you sure as hell can. If you know what you're doing, let's get some height. And we're gonna get on that, uh... Let's get over here. Got a good solid line on this guy. I think we really need to take care of this guy now. It's not gonna give us good salvage, but... The thing about it is that it's, uh... It is starting to do damage to my guys, and I want it gone. As long as that panther keeps missing with the PPC, I don't mind not shooting at it. Bye. Alright, Digger. Let's get on this guy. 48, we'll take it. Not bad. I'm taking the shot. Ah, I missed with the PPC. No, we didn't. Nice, we hit with the PPC. That'll fuck his sensors up for a bit. Come on, finish him off. Nice. Thank you. Don't have to worry about my flank now. Where are you going? Oh, you got the barrage on you too. So he was shooting for what? The building? Building, yeah. Building was highlighted. Orders. So the barrage incoming is next turn, right? Look at the chance to hit. Do I take the barrage? We're gonna take the barrage. Oh, yeah. And possibly the uh, Copperhead's AC for this. Ah, shit, it dropped significantly. We may only get one shot at this. So, fingers crossed. Here it comes. See ya. Spec destroyed. Fuck. I'm out of SRMs. That's fine. You're done. We're gonna retreat. You're gonna. You can come off the battlefield now. <laughs> you can come right out the battlefield. You can retire if you want. We're gonna pay your salary for the rest of your life. That was a great shot. Ah <laughs> oh, man, that was great. I mean, it would have been great. It would have better if the hunchback had an AC and was really threatening. But still, now we know he can do it. Oh shit. Oh, he didn't shoot. At least not at him, anyway. It's a good thing. Uh, come 
Commander. Okay, let's get up here. Let's move. You got targeting out to range. That's interesting. All right, firing on this guy. Damn it. Those big guns can't Ready miss. One pip of evasion, that's not bad. One chevron, it's fire. Alright, we got one hit, we'll take it. Couldn't sensor lock him earlier, huh? Round seven, we still got three more rounds, so... Metal affected. If anybody knows what the hell that means, please let me know. I mean, I could look it up, but you guys are always a source of great knowledge, so. Alright. I'm I'm chalking that up to the PPC hit and the sensor damage. Just, oh uh, yeah, too, my clan playthrough. I've gone through and reanalyzed all my mechs, and I've reallocated some roles to some of them. So the Cougar is hopefully not going to be uh, a punching bag. <laughs> For the next little while. It's been doing pretty poorly because it's just been targeted ridiculously and relentlessly by the enemy. So, uh, there was, I mentioned in the comments section too that you. on a uh, one of the offline matches I did to um, get some sea bills, the cougar had been, been re outfitted with a. Uh, On the move. Let's get over Hold here, me. I guess. It had been outfitted with a streak build. Let's not tempt him. Let's not get him to shoot for us. I'm here. Uh, a streak SRM build. So we had a streak SRM 10 in total on it. Fire on this guy. Which wasn't too bad. Ooh, it hit again. Nice. Receiving you. But it, it was once again a punching bag and it took a lot of damage. So I, I decided to. Um, Confirm. Because it's a slow mech, I decided to. Uh, Put it in the long range roll again. Um, do I want to spit these guys at him? I have no idea how much damage it's going to take to kill him, so let's just spit this at him. Roger. All right, a couple of hits. Receiving you. Roger. So yeah, it's gone. It's it's gone into a long range roll because it can keep up with the Nova and the Stormcrow just fine, but it's too slow, I think, for frontline. The Kit Fox and the Adders um, are so much faster, so I took it out of the front line roll, what do you need? put it into a rear line roll. Uh, I, I think don't think you're equipped to go head to head with a Cattle Master. I think that Cattle Master's got some crazy ass shit on it, so let's just What's back going? up here. Wait and see what they do. We don't need to risk our stuff here. So yeah, I mean, you know, it should be interesting. The next, the next battle, I've, I've got already picked out for it. It should be a nice, uh, it should be a nice tough fight. I'm hoping, and I am trying to expand the um, the amount of drop roster quicker, so that we've got more guys on the field, which means I can crank up the difficulty a, a lot faster, and hopefully that'll pull a little, like, pull some of the heat off of it off of the cougar as well. I know we got, we're running with a lot of light mech still. We gotta start getting up, but like I said, it's a clan playthrough, so we gotta stick with the clan gear, right? Although one of the um, one of the kit foxes has had to uh, downgrade some of its weaponry. So I mean, I'll show you that when we play it when we're playing next. All right. Nice. That Bessie was what you got, baby. Good to go. Just back it up. Got it. Get some height. Target this guy. Firing again. Firing all weapons. Nice. One more hit. Beautiful. Hopefully next turn we can kill it. Waiting for orders. Full speed. New Just get you out of the fight. You've done your job. Standing by. That's tricky. That's tricky, 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 aye, tricky. Aye. 
Ah, I missed with the PPC, damn it. Good to go. Alright, that gets me a little closer range bracket wise, which is not bad. And we're gonna go with the rockets because that's a pretty good chance to hit, I think. We're not gonna get much better than that, I don't think. Come on, go through. There it is. You didn't get the kill, though. Nice. Got past the though. armor. Short range missiles are out. Got past the armor. Confirmed. Not going to be aggressive with this playthrough. There's no need to be aggressive. Chance to lose stuff. Like the clan playthrough, the like clan gear is super valuable, but these guys it's the same thing. Everything is super valuable because we don't have a lot with these guys. Good to go. Oh, that opens me up to a copperhead attack, so let's not do that. Let's get over here. Not too far forward. Alright, not bad. We might get lucky. All we gotta do is hit it with one LRM. Or, yeah, that works too. The AC works. Alright, now who's next? Copperhead, probably. If we can get around to him. Don't know that we can, though. Well, hopefully, um... We survive this with all the buildings intact. Give us a little bit of extra sea bills. All right. Orders. On my way. Ooh, that's nice. All right, let's hope we get lucky on this guy. Locking in all weapons. Ooh, we pen. Nice. The turrets might be able to finish it off. Come on. Yes. Gorgeous. Panther turn. Panther's turn. Look at this thing is still flying through the atmosphere here. I should check if that's got something to do with the uh, gravity of the planet. Because some planets have like light gravity and things like that, and the moons have light gravity. So I'm wondering if it's got something to do with the physics as well. That would be kind of cool. I need you to shoot at this guy. It's the last round. He's already gone. Let's just shoot. Got it. Ah, we missed the large. No acid on. Yep. I'll do what I can. All right. Well. Nice. Ah, uh, commander. Let's get up here. Heading out. Shield that AC from the Bessie. Fire on this guy. Now, if you get lucky. With the Thunderbolt. Might be able to do some good damage to that guy. So he's decided to not fight anymore. Good work, buddy. Okay, taking a protective. We got the AC2 carrier as well, so. No, shoot the Panther. Aye aye. Alright, not the greatest chance to hit, but. Acknowledge. Miss. Damn it! I don't even know where the PPC hit. Standing by. All right, last shot. Acknowledged. And then we got the uh, turrets to go, but hopefully we can just plank them a little bit. Ooh, pen the armor. We had one more turn. Ooh, there goes the left torso. Yeah, one more turn. That's all we needed. Oh well. Good match. Well, Mission for us it was. Alright, that's a good chunk of sea bills because we certainly need that. Alright, so how do we do here? Pretty darn good. Yeah, see we've got fire control system energy accuracy for the Thunderbolt. I'm still working on getting rid of like the primitive cockpits and stuff. Because this is an extra ton we can be using. I've got the sensors, I think, taken care of on all these mechs. 
fire control system, system like standard fire control system. So we doing kind of the best we can that in that route. Advanced optics on this guy, nothing on that one. Advanced zoom on this guy. Yeah, we still I mean, we need optics and stuff, right? All right, they're gonna dispute it. And nope. Screw you. I want those parts. How many is there? Five of them. There it is, man. That's going to change this game. <laughs> the playthrough for these guys. Good, now I can crank it up a bit. Yeah, light rotary rifles. Which are no good without ammo. Endo steel. Do we have endo still? We've got one. Now this is an Omni technically. Correct? Yes, so I shouldn't need anything for the internal stuff. Except for maybe a double heatsink kit, although... Who else was rocking an XL engine? Was the 5N... No, the, f the 5N couldn't have had an XL engine. Maybe it did. Do we have Pharaoh? We've got one, so that's going to be bonus for the fire starter. Now the only problem is, oh, we got a double heatsink kit here as well. But I don't think the engine's big enough. Are we going to need double heat sinks? But I would be stupid not to take this. So because I'm stupid, let's pass by it. And uh, No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're going to grab it. Um, yeah. And let's roll the dice and hopefully we get some good stuff. All right, a couple of copperhead pieces, which I'm probably going to scrap. Tandem rocket 20s and a heavy rifle. Yeah, I'll just scrap those. Hunchback 5N. Now, what was the 5N? Uh, lackluster 5N. Down downgrades the pulse laser back to a small laser. It moves the case to add an extra ton of reloads. Probably shouldn't have uh, downgraded the case. Retaining the double heat sink. So I bet you it was, a, I bet you it was running XL. Yeah, I bet you it was I bet you it was running the XL. Locust, some ripper parts, trebuchet part, flamers. I'm gonna hold on to those because we'll probably be using those for the fire starter. Light rotary rifles. Let's hold on. They're only eight tons and eight heat. So we might use those. The machine gun can go. Beagle probe, excellent. 180 core. We've got one, so let's sell that one. Standard fire control system, we can sell that. End of steel. Sensors basic, we've got lots. Standard fusion engine, we've got one, so we can sell that. Structure can go, and we did not get a cockpit. Oh, well. All right, so that's not too bad. All right, so we're probably going to hang out in this base in the salt flats, flats for a bit. Although Red Reapers know where we are, we are going to have to repair a little bit here before we go. Let's have a look at the mech bay here. Um, because technically, I mean, the fire starter did go down. We lost the cockpit on it, but fixing the head it won't take that long, I don't think, because it is an Omni mech. So let's go to the mech bay. Hey, Commander. Be with um, you let's go to storage. Just ignore this for a second. Uh, let's grab this. I picked that up in an off, off a offline playthrough. So let's ready, ready this guy. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. I got a plan for this. I'm just going to leave it for now, though. So, uh, fire starter. Doesn't look like we got a lot out of this thing. Yeah, the arms are completely gone. Which is good. I mean, I, I like building mechs from scratch. Jump jets. Okay. So how do we do here? Not very good. All right. So, I mean, yeah, it could be better. But not that bad. 270 cores. Actually gives this thing half decent mobility, eh? The 6.9 mobility. So let's get the armor maxed. Because that's always the first thing we should be doing. We got three flamers. So let's spread them a bit. Now I don't think we've got uh, arms. We don't. Nope. We got upper recoil here. Oh, we got a light engine. I forgot we had a light engine. Okay. Um, now, it's got a 270 core, which means we could drop this in, which means we can run with hotter weapons on this thing. Large laser. What are we at? We still got lots of weight. Man, this thing gonna be packed with stuff. 
Let's get some jump jets. How many do we have? We don't have any. We have no jump jets. Really? Well, why doesn't that surprise me? The one time I want to use freaking jump jets, I don't have any. What the stink? I'll tell you what. Let's pull these two out until we get more. I'll probably put those into the Thunderbolt for now. So it gets a bit of mobility. Uh, weapons. What do we have? Light rotary rifle, but I don't think we have any ammo for it. Like, we're, this thing is... we got so, so limited with ammo and stuff. AC5, LRM, Artemis ammo, which we can't use. AC5 ammo. I mean, we could... Like, if we go... Like, we can leave the double heatsink kit out for now. Maybe not. We might need it. We'll see here in a second. Uh, give it a bit of range with this thing. Right? And then grab some ammo. Got AC5 ammo. Grab that. And then grab some ferro. Right? Drop the back by a little bit. we we got seven tons left. Holy crap. Are we probably going to need this then? Seven tons. So what's our heat at right now? Yeah, then we could put the large back in it again. Where does it go? In this arm? This just becomes like a fire. <laughs> it's like a fire support mech. Rocket pack fives. Eh. This is two tons though. It's not worth going with an LRM. We could go with the paramedium lasers though. I want those in the arm. No, I want the flamers in the arms. If we can find a pirate AC5, that would be nice. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Frankie for sure, but I mean, wait a minute. Uh, how many rounds do we have? It's only five rounds, I think, right? Yeah, it's only five shots. I was thinking we could put the LVX-20 in it. How crazy would that be, though? Like, it's only one ton of ammo. 13 tons. We could pull out the AC. It's 8, 9, 14 tons. And save the LBX for, like, heavy back strikes. Because it does, this thing does have pretty good maneuverability. Go with three flamers and like three medium lasers. For its primary attack and then when it gets close it just, and it has a good chance to hit, just use the LBX. I mean... We got enough for one more. <laughs> do we want to do that? Do we need... Uh, we probably need something like this, though. What's the recoil? It's free recoil. Uh, we got to drop a little bit of weight. Like half a ton, though. So, I mean, we could go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'm not hating it. Five hundred thirty one thousand twenty seven days. I'm not hating it. Plus one Lance Resolve for the totem. Lance in ones that are in aura, okay. Fog of War stays revealed around this unit, nice. Um Sure. Just do it. Let's get it fixed. All right, next time we fight, you're going to see this thing in action. Because we're going to switch it up. We're going to bring it up for Stinger level. So right now, 
engineering wise um, we don't have the uh, extended dropship on this guy um, not yet anyway so we're stuck with having four mechs and two vehicles which is fine by me for this playthrough for now um, I want to keep it low because I don't want to play too many offline missions I want to keep these guys raw I don't want to be filling in the blanks so to speak on the mechs and the pilots off camera so I want to just only get enough um, C bills to just keep us getting through these financial reports so the next time we fight will probably be the end of the next end of this month because diggers out for 20 days firestarter is 27 so I'll probably not run these guys offline at all and the next time we come back will be end of the next month with everything back because we should still have more than enough and we got some stuff to sell in the barracks we got some mech parts and some vehicle parts we can sell so yeah I'm going to end this episode here let me know what you th guys think about the uh <laughs> the Firestarter build that's pretty crazy I gotta say it, it kind of worked out okay so I'm interested to see how well it works out alright so uh, I'm going to end the episode here guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscri subscribe and you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later